my hair looks so bad. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look the worst. <laughs> if you've seen worse? Yeah. Oh dear. Happy day three, floss tube. <laughs> Happy stitching, everyone. I am on a little weekend getaway with my daughter, so a short video today. I just wanted to share my, my stitching progress, or lack thereof, and um, open up day three together. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I've been up to. So, surprise. I finished my sock. <laughs> All done. Toe is done. I even have a cute little teeny tiny bit of a yellow stripe at the very tip of the toe. And all of my ends are woven in. My sock is done. I'll show you um, on Monday's video. I'll put it on a blocker so that I can show you the, the I'll get the pattern to open up because it's beautiful. I'm thrilled with it. This is the heel toe do -si do pattern by Crazy Sock Lady and it's the Sampler Stripe Timber Yarn by Timber Yarns. Very fun, and I'm so glad I'm done. I am going to cast the second sock on tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so stitching. Womp womp. <laughs> you guys, last night I made an error over here, which I took out and I corrected it. So this side, I fixed it, it's done. Then I was happily stitching along this side and I made a major error. I actually skipped right over, I didn't stitch this section here and instead of doing this, I stitched this part here instead. And so I finished it and then I sat back to look at it and realized that it of course was completely wrong. So I ripped it out and I've already started restitching my mistake so I'm gonna finish that up and then I'm gonna get right into day three. So let's open up day three and see what we've got in store for today. Day three. <laughs> day three is all about favorite holiday recipes. Jacob has left us a video on his YouTube channel today. So I'm gonna check that out later this evening. And our day three floss, I apologize the lighting in here is a bit uh, it's a bit dim, but anyways, we have fresh cut. It is a beautiful medium green. One, two, three. And we've got the newest one in the middle there. There we go, medium green. Fresh cut. I had to laugh, my friend Candace left me a comment uh, two videos ago about my um, dye bleed mark on my fabric. I've mentioned before that I'm using a uh, second, so it's a piece of fabric that um, we wouldn't sell to a customer at full price and you know, it's perfectly, perfectly beautiful fabric because that, that blemish is going to appear in the, in the border. But she said it looked like I had dropped my, my pepperoni from my pizza on my fabric. <laughs> and now I can't unsee it. So every time, Candace, thank you. Now every time I look at that, I see the pepperoni mark on my fabric. So hopefully <laughs> I'll just cover it up with my needle minder later. Or we'll just we'll just put some really beautiful floss on top and then you can't see it anymore look at that okay so the prompt today is for favorite holiday recipe so i thought i would tell you about um a really special dessert that john makes uh for our holidays now and they are meringues and he makes the meringue base and then we serve it with raspberries and ice cream. And it's a really special, very light dessert because of course, you know, meringues are, you know, crispy and airy and just, just a beautiful sugary treat. And so I've asked him to forward me his recipe and I will put it into the description box below in case you're interested. But that's, that's, a, that's a special dessert for our family that we save for um, holiday meals. Just a reminder, if you're keeping track of your floss symbols, 
you can find the PDF for our symbol key on our website, www.evertote.ca. There is an FAQ section right on our website. You can access it. It's found at the top of our homepage and you just click that link and it will um, give you all the information. So there's a link there in that info section to print this out so that you've got it. All right, so I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish day two and then I'm gonna get stuck into day three. And when I'm all done, I will post a photo at the end of this video right before I upload it to YouTube so that you can see all the way up to day three finished. So I was also hoping to put some stitches into my Bart Dunn Merry Christmas, uh, sorry, what is it? Be Merry All uh, chart. And the letters that are up here are stitched with Roxy Flosco Bubbly. And uh, it's a perfect opportunity for me to show uh, Janata had asked me in the comments a couple of days ago how I uh, prep the floss for stitching and so I thought I would just just show you how I do it. I leave all of my floss on the cards themselves um, and I just clip through the bottom of the loop. So I've got one skein left here the, for the letters that hasn't been cut yet. So you can see how it comes on the skein. It's got that loop at the bottom and so you just cut through I only have my small scissors here so I'll do it in sections here cut through all of those oops that one's already cut there should be able to do this all in one go I'm trying to do this and stay out of the way of the camera tripod is interesting. There we go. Now you wanna triple check that you've cut all of the loops because trying to pull floss out and if you've missed one, it's not fun. So there we go, we're free and clear. Now I am stitching this with uh, two strands of floss over two. So I go ahead and pull out a group of six right from that knot that's at the top Pull that out like that, tidy up the remaining floss, and then I can take my two strands out of this. It's already pre-cut to the length that I like to stitch with, and then I will put the remaining uh, four strands either back on the card itself. Some people will even punch another hole into their card and put the leftover on that. Um, but I just use a thread bed and I roll it up and I put it inside the thread bed and keep it in there. Um, because all of these letters use the same floss, I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, pretty simple and keeps all the rest of your floss neat and tidy. So I hope that was helpful. And day three is finished. So, just uh, apologies for the terrible lighting, but it's late. Um, as you can see, there was a lot of counting in today's stitching. Um, those of you who aren't confident uh, that your counting will be correct, you may want to wait um, and fill in some of these stitches later on when maybe they might be a little easier to count with other stitching, once other stitching is filled in, you know, with the with this, etc. However, I quadruple checked everything and I feel pretty confident I lined everything up with uh, the stitching up there. And the stitching to the side and so fingers crossed pretty sure it's correct <laughs> uh, all right well that's it for me today happy stitching everybody see you tomorrow <laughs>